In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to enable Respondus Monitor on a test in Blackboard. So let's get started. We can see here that we're inside of our course site on Blackboard, and we see the entrance page, which is the announcements page. So what we want to do is on the left side course menu, go ahead and hover over the assignments option to go to the assignments content area. And we can see here that we have our example test created and it already requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. So in order to enable Respondus Monitor on a test, you have to also enable Respondus Lockdown Browser. So let me show you how to do that. If we go back to our left side course menu and scroll down, we can go ahead and click on Course Tools. And when we click on Course Tools, we can keep scrolling down. And in the submenu for that, we can go ahead and click on Respondus Lockdown Browser and the left side course menu. That brings us to our Respondus Lockdown Browser dashboard page. And we can see we have a big orange button in the bottom right. It says Continue to Lockdown Browser. So let's go ahead and click that. We now see that our example test that requires Respondus Lockdown Browser and if we look under Lockdown Browser over here on the right, we can see that it's currently required. However, we see Respondus Monitor is not required. So, if we uh, come back to the left of the example test title and click on this little square, we can see that we can go ahead and select Settings. So, we went ahead and we already pre-required Respondus Lockdown Browser for the exam. But now we want to go ahead and require the Respondus Monitor. So we can go ahead and scroll down and click on this button and say Require Respondus Monitor for this exam. At this point you're going to get a prompt about Respondus Monitor and we can go ahead and click the big blue button that says Continue to Respondus Monitor. At this point we can go ahead and scroll down and then we can choose the startup sequence for what we want to require of students to prove uh, that they are who they say they are and uh, essentially go through the steps of verifying that we're proctoring them using this Respondus Monitor. It does a webcam check which is mandatory to make sure the webcam is working. It goes through additional instructions and guidelines and tips to kind of advise the student about the type of environment that they should be in and kind of how this tool works. It makes them uh, take a picture of their student ID if you want just to prove they are who they say they are. Uh, it makes them take a student photo as well uh, of the person sitting in front of the camera. Uh, it'll let you do a small video for the environment check just to make sure it's clear of uh, maybe materials that you don't want them to be accessing while they're taking their tests. So anything on their desk, their computer, so on and so forth. And then uh, it also does a facial dete detection test. And this is kind of the, uh, the crux of the functionality of Respondus Monitor. So essentially what it does is it just takes a picture, uh, it has the webcam and it's looking at your face the entire time and just verifying that that face does not leave the test. And if that face does leave the test webcam, then the test will stop. And so uh, we can see here we have additional facial detection options down at the bottom. And we could say prevent students from starting the exam if face cannot be detected during startup sequence, which is uh, I recommend you enable that. And we can notify students during the exam if the face cannot be detected. And that's the functionality I just mentioned as well. If we go to advanced settings, uh, we can allow another application to use the microphone during the exam. And then we can make the webcam videos available for viewing on mobile devices. Uh, those aren't required and not necessary, uh, but you can choose to enable them if you wish. And now that we've went ahead and went through the startup sequence and the settings we want, we can go ahead and click the blue save and close button, at the bottom left. And now it'll reload that Respondus Lockdown Browser dashboard page. And now we can see that Respondus Monitor is required and Respondus Lockdown Browser is required. And if we go to our left side course menu again and click on assignments, we can now see that webcam appears in the test title, additionally to requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. And so in the next section of this video, we're going to go ahead and go over it from the, from the student perspective. Now that we've enabled Respondus Monitor on our test, 
When students come to the Assignments section in their Blackboard course site, we can see now that the title of the test has changed. Instead of just saying Requires a Respondents Lockdown Browser, we now see that it says Webcam. So when the student comes into Blackboard, they're going to see this full title on their exam. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on the test as an example student to go ahead and launch it. And we can see here that the full title of the test is displayed and you can click begin to take the exam. Now because Respondus Monitor and Respondus Lockdown Browser uh, they lock out screen sharing and I'm not allowed to uh, show you actually physically while recording video what they look like I've actually been able to take pictures from my phone to kind of circumvent that and uh, what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and minimize and when students log into the exam this is what they're going to see uh, essentially, they'll see that screen to begin the test, and when they hit begin, this first screen is going to appear in front of them, and they're going to have to agree to the terms of use. And then after that, they'll do a webcam check, and it will just make sure that the webcam is on. And once they've done that, they can go ahead to additional instructions, and which is when they're going to agree that uh, they're not accessing other resources, and just kind of uh, affirm that. Then they're going to move on to the next step, which is step four. It's going to give some guidelines and tips. Uh, turn off televisions, radio and music, avoid rooms where other people are present, etc. And then they're going to take a student photo. And uh, they're just going to position their face so it fills most of the picture window and look into the camera and take a picture. And once they've done that, they're going to move on and they're going to show their photo ID. And that's just going to confirm that, hey, I am who I say I am. This is my ID. This is me. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and they're going to do an environment check. At this point, it's going to take a small video of uh, the area that they're working in just to make sure there's no books or extraneous objects or any materials that they could use to reference that you don't want them to reference while taking the test. And then once they've completed that task, they can go ahead and go to the uh, last tab, which uh, I believe is this one. And then they're going to do a facial detection. And we're going to go ahead and do an example of that as well. Uh, and then once they've done the facial detection, and uh, it's, it's literally the camera captures the face and affirms what's going on. And I'm going to show you a rough demo of that in just a second. I've found a workaround to kind of show you the screen and what happens. Uh, then uh, they're going to get the begin exam, at which point they'll begin the exam. So let's go ahead and go back to our test window. And so now that we're back on our test window, um, this is going to kind of be the portal that I created in to see what's going to happen with the student. And when we're sitting here, we can see my face recording on the screen. And this is what the monitor is going to be doing. It's going to be just making sure my face is present. But if I turn the camera, and we can see I'm going to kind of turn it towards the screen. And this is the test in front of me. In just a moment, we're going to see something happen because it doesn't see my face. And it says, your face isn't showing clearly in the video. And so it's giving me a big thumbs down. And when I turn this around to actually physically see my face, it's going to give a green thumbs up. And I'm not going to be able to show you that green thumbs up, but essentially this is what the Respondus Monitor and Respondus Lockdown Browser is doing. It's just verifying that you are who you say you are and that you're sitting in front of it and that you are the one that's taking your test. So if I turn it back around and show my face, here I am. And I saw a green message appear and I can now see my test again. And that concludes uh, how to use Respondus Monitor with Blackboard. Thank you very much for watching.